commentary, entertainment, sports, news, and opinion. Now, here is Steve Malzberg. Hi, folks. Uh, you know the name very well. Gary Bauer, president of American Values and former uh, Republican presidential candidate. And uh, he joins us right now. Hey, Gary. Hey, Steve. How you doing? Good, good to talk to you. It's been a while. Let me let me ask you. Uh, you 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 um, you made some news recently, um, talking about uh, the the secularist agenda uh, of uh, of President Obama, and you were quoted as saying uh, uh, of Obama, he's repealed "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" for homosexuals and replaced it with "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" for Christians. What exactly did you mean by that? Well, in, in the American military right now, unbelievably, there's been more and more pressure put on. Uh, originating in the White House uh, for believers in the military to uh, not talk about that, to not uh, not share Bible verses with people. Uh, there's been uh, cadets at the Air Force Academy and uh, and the other military academies that have been told they can't uh, uh, talk about their faith. Chaplains in the military have been warned that they uh, they must participate in a same-sex wedding and certainly not preach in any way that would uh, undermine uh, the, uh, the views of the gay rights movement. And, and it just seemed to me to be incredibly ironic that we've gone from uh, a, a point in our history when all of those rules applied to open homosexuality in the military. Now that's all been repealed and it's Christians in the military that are being told to get into the closet and shut the door. And you, and you view this as part of a uh, just uh, just part of a broader uh, policy of uh, of secularism uh, by this president, correct? Well, look, the, the the president and his allies, by their own uh, description, are are, are so-called progressives. Uh, statistically, in the United States, people that use that appellation, that that tag, that title, uh, tend to be very secular. Uh, the Democratic Party gets uh, a, an increasing percentage of its vote from people who are very secular, just as the Republican Party and conservatism tends to get a larger share of their supporters from people that tend to be in church on Sunday uh, and, and folks that have uh, religion plays a, a bigger, uh, a larger part of their life. So it, this is one of the big divisions between the left and the right in America. And, and if, if, if this succeeds, if this continues, if we continue in this direction uh, with this administration and possibly another administration, um, where, where are we headed as a nation in your view? Oh, look, we're, we're headed to a disaster. Now, I know that th just saying that will be seen by some as, uh, as a, uh, a provocative uh, description or thought. But look, let me bring it back, back to the basics. The United sure. States, and, and most of our kids don't realize this, the United States was built on a profoundly moral idea, you could even say religious idea, that's smack in the middle with the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence. We're the first nation in the world, we may be the only one since then, that said in its founding document that our liberty does not come from government, not the president, not the Supreme Court, not the Congress, but from God. Uh, you're familiar with the words. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator. That was the God of Abraham. All of the founders believed this, that liberty came from God and that only a virtuous people could remain free. If we continue down this path of trying to rip all signs of religiosity out of the public square, we're destroying the basic idea of America. And it should be something of grave concern to everybody, not just social conservatives. I would suggest to my libertarian friends, it ought to be of grave concern to them because there is no chance for small government if we get away from the idea that liberty comes from God and that only a virtuous people can remain free. Gary, one, one more on, on a related topic, certainly. Uh, just uh, within a few hours of each other, uh, a judge in... Uh, with regard to Utah and another one with regard to Indiana, striking down their definition of marriage, their ban on, on gay, uh, gay marriage. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is, you know, this is what's going on all over the country. It seems to me uh, where people vote, where the voters are heard, 
uh, the, the, the people vote for traditional marriage. But then, you know, ever since the Supreme Court ruling, we've had a rash of, uh, of federal judges and state judges coming in and saying, no, unconstitutional, and, and they're changing it, uh, you know, with, a, with a, just a, a bang of the gavel. Yeah, it's, I, I don't know whether the emotion I, I most feel is anger or disgust. Uh, when you put down the list of all the things that have happened in the Obama years that are, have been terrible for our country, one of the top ones ought to be that more votes by more Americans and by those Americans' elected officials have been declared null and void by unelected judges than at any time in our history. That ought to disturb everyone, regardless of what their view is on same-sex marriage. If America is now a country where the opinion of the people means nothing, where the opinion of the people and the votes of the people can be struck down by a handful of judges, then we are in deep trouble indeed. So you'd say they're usurping the will of the people, certainly, on, uh, on the issue of gay marriage? Uh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I, I, I expected as much from the left it is demoralizing to see how few Republicans are willing to publicly show their outrage about, about these kinds of decisions. And by the way, to my friends in the business community who think they don't have any kind of a stake in this, if judges can strike down these votes, if judges can tell uh, Americans that uh, their votes on these matters don't have no, no uh, weight, does the business community think those judges won't authorize more regulation of big business, more uh, laws passed that will hurt big business? We should be all in all this together, in all of this together, but large portions of the conservative coalition increasingly are unwilling to speak up in defense of the values of social issue voters who are the largest part of the overall conservative coalition. All right, let's turn to uh, something that's been dominating the, uh, the uh, news uh, lately, and that is the IRS uh, scandal. I want you to listen to this. Isn't the problem, the problem here, though, Josh, is that you have a key figure in this kind I think you and I might have different ideas about what the problem is. Well, here's the problem. But the right? problem is that I think the problem is that despite easy. all of this, despite it's all of this, you know, we have seen like, an unwillingness. Right, but doesn't that sound like the dog ate my homework? when you have two years of missing emails, it just, it just on the face of it, doesn't sound credible, doesn't uh, it? I guess if you listen solely to the arguments that are offered up by Republicans, you might have reason to question their credibility. I agree with that. All right, that's White House spokesman uh, Josh uh, Ernest, uh, Jim Acosta of CNN. Uh, don't be fooled, uh, Ernest went on to talk about how basically this is just a, a Republican-contrived uh, uh, non-scandal. Um, when you hear of what the IRS has done or, you know, losing the emails, throwing away the hard drives, the commissioner saying no apologies, uh, I don't remember who told me about this, I was busy. Uh, what, are you, what are we witnessing here, Gary? Right. Look, this, this is just, it's astonishing. I, to, the, to the new White House press secretary, he may be setting a record on developing a credibility gap in the first 48 hours on the job. <laughs> uh, there's new polling out today that shows that only 12% of the American people Except the explanation of the president of the United States. Yeah, the Fox News, the Fox News poll. Yeah, yeah. The president said just the other day, "There's not a scintilla of evidence that anything inappropriate happened at the at the IRS." No, there there isn't a scintilla of evidence. There's a there's a tractor trailer truck worth of evidence that uh, inappropriate things have happened at the IRS, and I I think the White House has already lost this battle as far as public opinion goes. Uh, whether or not anybody actually has to pay legally for what was done, unfortunately, is still an open question. You may need a, a Justice Department uh, to do that, and uh, that's not going to happen here. Let me quickly uh, take it back to Obama for a second. John Boehner announcing today that he's suing the president uh, for circumventing the Constitution and, and uh, lawlessness in certain respects. Uh, what's your take on that? Well, you know, better late than never. I think everybody's been frustrated at the inability of our side in Washington to come up with remedies for what is clearly an out-of-control administration that has ignored the Constitution, is issuing executive orders uh, on all sorts of issues, although I note they have not issued one to help our veterans rotting away in VA hospitals around the country. 
Uh, I'm glad Boehner's doing it. I think there are other things that can and should be done. Uh, if, you know, the, the election coming up in November, usually you have the most committed people voting. If uh, Speaker Boehner and others aren't careful, they're going to go into the election with their own base demoralized by the lack of fight here in Washington. So I, I commend him. I encourage him. And uh, whatever he, ha he had for breakfast today before he decided to announce, <laughs> I, I urge him to have it again tomorrow. Yeah, uh, that, that, that's a good line. I like that. And it's, uh, it's very apropos. Gary, thank you, sir. Nice talking to you. My pleasure. Good to be with you. Thank you. Gary Bauer, president of American Values and former Republican presidential candidate. And folks, coming up next, you know it, you love it, you got to have it. It's Gimme Five only. I say only here on The Steve Malsberg Show on Newsmax Television.